everyone, I haven't done one of these videos in a while. It's time for a two minute 3D printing tip Tuesday, but it's technically Wednesday and we're gonna be talking about the P1P. Bamboo Lab released their X1 Carbon a year ago over on Kickstarter and they just announced something crazy where they're permanently dropping the price point on the P1P by $100 and it's now $599, which is a crazy price point for a stupidly fast 3D printer that's got Wi-Fi connectivity on it, mobile app support, you name it, it's all on there. So everybody's talking about the price reduction, which is amazing, but if you're like me and bought one of the Kickstarter campaign 3D printers, I actually bought two of them, and there's a deal. For $2, you get four rolls of their carbon fiber reinforced filament. That is insane. Then if you purchased a separate 3D printer outside of the campaign up until June 26th of this year, for $2, you get two rolls of the carbon fiber reinforced filament. That is an insane deal for some filament for $2. Like, that's just blowing my mind at the moment. And also, maybe you picked up one of these 3D printers and you didn't buy an AMS unit. This guy here, I took it off of my X1 Carbon, but it can work with the P1P as well. You, if you purchased a printer previously and don't have an AMS system, they're gonna give you a voucher for $50 that you can get for $50 off the AMS unit, which is still a fantastic deal. All of this, is still cheaper than the Mark IV that I just recently purchased. Don't get me wrong, this thing is pretty impressive, it prints amazing, but it's nowhere near the same build volume as the P1P. It can't do multicolor without its other add-on unit there, the MMS system there, or something like that. But uh, yeah, I mean, this was the, the pre-assembled version that was over a grand. I think it was like $1,200, $1,300. You can literally, there's a whole kit over on Bamboo's site for the P1P, like uh, extra parts, the AMS unit, and some filament as well. Just an insane deal. In the same blog post where they go to announce this price reduction for the P1P and the different sale things that are going on there uh, for their one year anniversary, they also mentioned that they're gonna be launching some minor upgrades to some of their machines, which will be interesting to hear more of. But what I'm really excited about is they also very casually drop in that they're working on some larger projects. Let me not say larger. I think mentally I wanted it to be larger. It says major projects. Major means big to me and big means a bigger version of their X1 Carbon or their P1P. Come on now. Come on now. That's what I'm really excited about. I can already print a helmet on these things, but it's like a tight fit. I want to be able to just easily throw a helmet on there and just have it rip and fly and print amazing. I think Bamboo Lab just made a, an extremely smart decision here because people who are already in the market for a fast 3D print might have been hovering around, do I wanna stick with the lower end and like $300 or less, or do I wanna go up to something like the P1P, which is previously like $700, which is kind of steep, but $600? you know, that's not too bad. That's, that might be doable for more people when you consider everything that you're getting with the machine. I think this is just a smart business decision by them. They're really gunning for the, you know, mid-range printer market here and really excited to see what else they announce later this year. You'll definitely be hearing more from me about it. Uh, it's probably been more than two minutes, but if you're interested in the machine, I'll have links down below. It's affiliate, obviously, but I just wanted to share this news with you guys. I thought it was pretty crazy. If you bought one of these machines last year, again, get in on that deal for the filament, $2. That's crazy. Hey, thanks so much for watching all. See you next time. Bye now. Also, if you couldn't already tell, it's ridiculously hot here in the studio when I have all the lights on and it's just radiating heat and I'm talking and moving and lifting and yeah, just sweaty. It's the, the drawback of it being summer and warmer.